First alert forecast. It's a clear sky with patchy fog to start your Thursday with mild temperatures though. You're starting the day around 65 degrees, sunrise right at 630. Going through the day with plenty of sun. I do see some extra clouds still clipping parts of our area. Light cool breeze and 82 at noon. Your high today will be 88. And with those few clouds over the valley and east, it only brings a stray pop up possible. That limited humidity does at least limit it to only a 10% coverage of our area. See a couple specks here at the Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia corner could get a speck to pop up along the Smokies, kind of even that edge of the plateau here where those clouds reach. But that does limit it to only 10%. It's been most of the day mostly sunny. You have a nice cool breeze out of the northeast up to 10 miles per hour at times this afternoon with a high today of 88 in Knoxville. So again, you can see that terrain change impacting that weather a bit. 89 in Loudoun. Zooming in in the forecast where you live. You're looking at a high today of 84 in Wartburg in Crossville, 85 in Oneida to 87 in Clinton and Middlesboro. High today will be 85 in Stearns with more sun north and west and a few passing clouds. Valley and east. 86 your high today in Morristown again 88 in Knoxville to Pigeon Forge. Now the deal here is that the humidity is lower. Obviously we're not bottomed out, but it does give us more cooling room in the mornings and limits our rain chances for a couple more days. Saturday afternoon is when this gradually starts coming back up and that's where we start getting some in increasing rain chances this weekend. So for tomorrow, it really is beautiful. Just sunshine filled day, only a couple of clouds moving around. So that is something to look forward to as well. That sunshine then helps us warm up though to 91. So we can start off cooler in the morning in the mid 60s. Again, we'll be at 78 at 10 a.m. Maybe knock off the yard work early 85 at noon because the high will be around 91 tomorrow afternoon. Just in the shade, it doesn't feel hotter. And then we'll go into Saturday with those few passing clouds. Again, that humidity just trying to tick up and that's where we have just a couple of showers and storms popping up as we get into the afternoon to evening, evening mainly. And then we'll have a few more showers and storms starting to develop and move in Sunday midday to afternoon. And that's where that humidity comes back in. Some batches of rain and storms are developing in the region and it's all starting to add back up to better rain chances. Not a total wash up. We'll start getting some of those downpours, mainly scattered around the valley at first Sunday afternoon. Evening, it spreads out a bit. Then it becomes more on and off into next week. I'm seeing it spotty to scattered on Monday, carry over into Monday night to Tuesday morning just a bit. Get a little lull there. I pick up a few more Wednesday morning back to spotty. But you can see that also locks us into upper 80s with some rain and storms at times through most of next week.